eliminate the stage and go straight back.
Survival! Grand finals going on. Uh, it's your boy Atsu back on stream again. We had some technical difficulties, but that's out of the way. And I am joined by Player Two. Player Two. So we got Rin and Narco up in Grand. This isn't Grand. This is Finals. If Narco wins, it becomes Grand Finals, right? True. Let me just ask a question. Right. This is Grand Finals. Yes. Yeah. This is Grand Finals. Okay. Okay. And if Narco wins, it becomes True Grand Finals. He reset the bracket. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. We see they owe Tosaka charges. Um, the the names of the brackets should still be changed. Yeah, let us get that fixed up real quick. Wow. Okay. Um, well, right. The no, no, no. That, that, that's the cameras. That's, oh no. Fair. Full screen. Full screen. Full screen. Full screen. I don't, oh. Right. 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 So the names um wrong people? Okay, my minor technical issues, the tech man will deal with it. Um as it's narco versus Tosaka in the grand finals. Narco into narco in losers. Tosaka Cho, he made his way back to the edge. Um uh, if you saw Edgar by Nargo, Woo! and Kips! Kips the book. Knowledge is power. Very, 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 very nice. Um, he's a stalker. So let me ask you, player two, what do you think about this matchup right here? Uh, you know, no, no, Robin like, versus Mario. You care the character matchup? Yeah. I think Mario trumps, I think Mario trumps Robin. Um, uh, because he has a reflector. Right, right. Um, he's, um, he's a heavy, uh, Robin's a heavy projectile character. So on on that, what? Oh. <laughs> Excuse it. Seems we have some technical difficulties. More technical difficulties. Yo, all, this grand finals. Some boys. Yeah. Um, well, they say they're going to continue. No one is holding any grievances. This is Grand Finals continued. Saka, no. Missing the, um, the knockdown, the spike down. But the neutral 
on the jersey down here. Uh, he gets back to the safe. He gets back to the edge safely. Oh, he makes a bounce off of Mario head. Oh, Mario from behind. One, two, three. What's the, what's the edge guard? And Narco's doing a really good job at just maintaining stage control here again. And I see that a lot with him. He's really keeping the soft on the edge. But we're right back into neutral with both characters. So let's see what they can make of this. Hopefully something good. Hopefully something good. As they have been doing so far. Yeah, it's been a very entertaining game and I'm hoping to see maybe even a game five situation. I wouldn't I would I wouldn't would go so far as to say that <laughs> as a very entertaining game. There there is a there, there is a respect for the patient play. Right. I, I will give them that. Right. So but the patient play leaves a lot to be desired. Because you're always waiting for the great opportunity. Yeah, but the air between these players is so tense right now. Very much so. Uh, they can just, either of them can just explode at any moment. Both of them are at kill percent and this is Smashville. So uh, this is looking like a very even game. Well, quickly as Mario now uses, I think Mario will be looking for either a smash. A smash, there we go. Or our back throw. And Mario taking all two stops. Going at 1-0. Oh, And to Osaka, requesting a control change. Now, I wonder if Tosaka is going to stick with, well, he Robin? sticks with Robin. But I do know that he has a Lucina. And some argue that the Lucina matchup is more favorable against Mario. Because the sword really keeps Mario out. And that's generally what you want to do. You don't want to get grabbed by Mario. But he's sticking with Robin. So he probably has a plan. I would say that usually lends to the type of player that you are. Right. You may you may be like what you would call a stubborn player. <laughs> you may know that it's a bad matchup, but you want you want to prove a point. That's fair. Which which actually is a character that I actually admire. Yeah, I do. I appreciate people who just pick their character and stick to their character. Same as same as well. But let's see what's gonna happen in this matchup. We see the stairway to heaven that was spoken about earlier. Oh, that's what it's called. I just call it I just call it Death by Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Kill calls it the stairway to heaven. <laughs> oh, Kel. He, he would. <laughs> so Mario taking a slight lead in neutral hair. Mm -hmm. But both characters are both feeling each other out. Very Players are so. shuffling around a bit. Um, I'm, I'm actually impressed by Mario realizing that all oh, these are clever bits going to Osaka. Yeah. And so Osaka misses the grab, gets punished for it. And the stairway to heaven. <laughs> Lands on Earth. Fires back on Fireball. Locks, oh, Jab misses away. Yeah. Put in neutral from Tosaka. Oh, the one, two, three, blows him off stage. What's the edge guard? Oh, it looked complex and complicated. I didn't know what it was. Charges charges neutral B. Oh, and I, it gets caught. Excellent course. micro spacing from Narco right Very there. So. Oh, he gets the down air. Wow. Narco came to play. Osaka. So Osaka is definitely going to want to close this out as soon as possible. Very much so. He's now these blast see. zones are not going to help with the checkmate. Even though Mario is near that percent, these blast zones are going to keep him alive just a little longer. A little bit longer. I can't come. I can't even follow that strategy because you need to keep that in mind because the longer the match goes, you're saying at such a percentage and good thing he took the stop. It was yeah. in Mario's favor. But now the game is still looking kind of even for both characters. Uh, Robin does have a sword, but Mario is getting in his combos. The stairway to heaven. Oh, he misses. Catches him, catches him on the eighth step of heaven. Just like that, Robin is at 80%. Alright, but you know, it's, it's not over till it's over in Smash till, till his stock is taken. No, that's right. Oh, the, is a, is a 91 deficit. Oh. Well, 100. So Saka having a really hard time landing here. Oh, that was very close. Very close. Can't tell Saka do. Ooh, that was a nice clever disguise. Went for the edge. Nice. Ooh. Narco with it all to Saka. Very nice yeah. big coming back on stage. Really good with that call out right there. Very much so. Defending against the edge guard. Ooh, Narco oh, seems to be a bit of a miss input. Bit of a rush. Trying to get this kill in on Tosaka. Tosaka counters. Whoa. Oh, misses a pivot grab. Very much so. Could be a pivot too. Oh, and Mario takes it with a second up smash. Snuffed out by the up smash. 
to war from Narco. Dosaka yet to take a match. Now let's not forget, even if Narco does win this, we would be going into a bracket reset. So Tosaka does have all the time he wants to really get the read. Uh, I imagine that's probably what he wants to do around now. Which makes a lot of sense. So you can give, you can, it's not really giving away, but feel confident in your ability to get the character, to get the player read in the first set of games. Right, exactly. So, you know, like, stronger players usually, well, players of a very strong mental game usually take that approach because they're very confident in the skills that the longer the match gets, the better, the stronger they are against their opponent. Yeah. So it's never seen as a disadvantage, even though some people may consider it to be one. And Tosaka is infamously known for his patient gameplay. And quite serious, as he now has a percent lead against Mario, those first six hits seem very good. Yeah. Mario com countering back with his own stairway. Well, went straight to heaven, but he did not make it. <laughs> Fell back. Still, he may be an angel in disguise to this to this very match. Even it up. Well, not even it up. At least taking one for himself. Ooh, nice, nice forward there. Burns the edge. Mario oh, takes it. Excellent ledge trap right there. Very much so. Found the correct timing between when the animation started up and the invincibility ran up. Ooh! And so Saka, as he said, took the first of the match. Mario's closer, closer down. He blocks his way. Who's gonna get? Oh, uh, excellent tech. Yeah, well, uh, I'm like, probably wasn't aware that Mario's up here is fully invincible. Yeah, for sure. Because like, it was very, it was very much good defense. Ooh! Oh. And a gimp from from Narco runs off the edge, waiting for the invincibility to burn off. Ooh! And he lands down tilts, up tilts, throws him in the ground, up tilts. Oh, I'm seeing some good SDI from Tusak on these up tilts. Oh, oh, a lot is happening. Throws him in the ground. Up, uh, oh, misses, misses. The stairs of the heaven seems to be out for repairs. <laughs> But never the fear. Mario tosses too far. What to Osaka? Looking extremely patient and looking for the counter. As he realizes, Mario sitting on 110, and he gets a patient counter. Very much so. That is very good. Very good composure. No, uh, he was just waiting patiently till Mario's invincibility wore off. No, edge guards tries to hit him from behind. Oh, nice back throw. What's the pressure? What's he up? What's the edge guard? Oh, Mario escapes it. So Osaka. Oh, nice gets grab. Oh, up to be for more of it. Oh, nice punish. Still get back to the advantage. Oh, fire dodges it. Gets knocked down to the ground. Mario, oh, a little too early with that. Yeah, that was smash. a really hard read right there. Very much so. I can't really fully agree with it, but I understand the intent. You, you want the match finished as quickly as possible. Yeah. Oh, nice one to Osaka. Ooh, oh, he get, and, he get, and he gets up these bits from just hanging around in space, the neutral space. Oh, oh he gets burned. Nice dodge. He holds a sword in his head. Up. Uh, one, two. Oh, nice one, Narco. Any more dodges, and I believe Tosaka would have had the next dodge. Oh, nice. Ah, that's uh, very, that was great. Excellent landing. That was excellent. Very much so. He was able to dodge the up smash at the final thing and make it across up. As Narco now knows this is the second time and approaches Tosaka very cautiously. Oh, and he takes the run up fit match, bro. And we're gonna have a bracket and reset. A bracket reset from Narco. All right. Narco sending it into the grand grand finale. Okay, so we finally see the Lucina I talked about, and um, you know, the thing is, I don't know how much experience Narco has with Lucina. I don't know if this is going to be a problem for him, because I know Tosaka played a lot in friendlies, but he was mostly playing the Robin. I will say this, I will, I will say this, it's not maybe so much of Narco not having the experience, right. it's more, even though that would be part of it, I would more it would more lie on the outline that he's not had experience against Osaka's view version of how to play Lucina. Right, right. So but there there are plenty of, there, there are a couple of Lucinas that Narco have played against. Uh, very very competitively. 
I'm not quite certain he's familiar with what the character can and cannot do. Right. But it's not secret knowledge what the player would want like you to think he's going to eat is or is or isn't going to do. Especially a patient character, well, a patient player rather like uh, Tosaka. Like, like that there just not with an actual Yeah, example. exactly. He so, goes in and out of uh, neutral space and so. waits Tosaka for the was on the version of the encounter for Edge Garden. He was able to get back on stage and patiently waited to see what Narco was going to do first before going forward to take the life. Narco, not seem to like the fact that his life is taken first, he seems to be going after this princess. And his princess is in another castle. <laughs> and Narco doing really well. Despite the first stock loss, he's really taking advantage of this new stock. Mm, it's true. So let's see if he can close this off against Osaka. And oh. <laughs> commentator's curse, I suppose. Uh, oh, I doubt that. What oh, does happen? You just happen to know. You just happen to be to know when. You know, you're watching this run of the ideas, and you be like, oh, let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah. It's like, oh, well. wrong place at the wrong time. Wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, Narco has taken the percentage lead. Nice. Oh, nice. Seems to have noticed the rhythm of Tosaka's patient game. Yep. Catches him with the throw. Oh, and he takes the up. Takes the takes the ear dodge. Bit. Oh, throws him in the ground again. Oh, oh and he goes doesn't quite get the far Oh, that. No, he didn't quite get the spike on that uh, forward there. Sour spotted. And wow, he seems to have a very good read on what's trying to do up B. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, that was very nice. The edge guard. Oh, oh, that was asking the first time. He didn't hit him. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, he tried the same thing. No, the neutral, the neutral air has a very wide hitbox behind it. Mm. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Oh, oh. Gets him with the Tims. Very nicely done. Narco taking the backer reset. 1-0. Can he make it 3-0? Or 2-0? Nah, he needs to make it 2-0 first. To Osaka. Let's see if he can. I, I like the fact. I like the fact. Oh, I, he made me speak too soon. I guess commentator's curse is real. <laughs> I was not gonna say I like the fact he's gonna go about the character see that screen and think about what happened and take the time in to study the match that I just went. But he picked this character right away. I went back into it. But what I think right now is that he really wants to carry all that momentum over because he's been having some very solid games against Osaka and he just wants to keep that momentum going. So I don't think he wants to slow down or give Osaka even the chance to breathe. Uh, really important to know is how well Narco has been able to invade the space of Tosaka despite the disjoint on Lucina. He's always able to confidently go in and make very confident reads and get rewards off of them. Well, I will say this. If, if it's a case that Narco is winning on the spacing, then Tosaka needs to make it a case of you engage the spacing and take away Mario's advantage. Right. I think it has to be more of a case where Mario comes to Tosaka as opposed to... Tosaka going to him. Yeah, exactly. Should, I get what you're saying because people may, people may see Lucina viewed as a defensive character and if you're a defensive character by nature, it makes more, it's more, it's more sense for you, people to come to you rather than you go to them and Tosaka loses the first stop. Yeah, lose the first stop just like that. Uh, it's, it's, if any, the worst way it could be, it could be too old. He still has time to come back, always. He seems to be a bit under pressure. Neutral in the wrong direction. Um, Narco taking his distance from um, Mario and tossing a couple fireballs, letting him, letting Lucina know that his love of flame is not out for her. Oh, that looked good. Yeah, the blast zones of Battlefield really helping Tosaka out in this situation. Now this isn't looking too good for Tosaka. True. But again, this is Smash Brothers. This can go anyway at any time, right, and so he does have rage. So. Oh, two, oh, wow, wow, Narco going up two, oh, let's see, well, Tosaka himself seems to be scratching his ear, studying what to do. He's oh, still in a good mood though. He's still in a good mood. He's the kind of guy who would laugh even after a loss. But I believe in this guy, I have a lot of confidence in Tosaka, I mean I played this guy, I grew up with this guy, so let's see if... We can see an upset or a comeback. We shall see. And he's he sticks with the Robin bit. Yeah, going back to Robin, I know it's the character he's most confident with. Mm -hmm. should, should be taking the match this round. Is it? All he just has to be aware of is Mar Mario's ability to, to reflect. And he makes a game on it. Oh, almost. I thought he, I thought he had him. 
Now I've actually spoken to Z to Tosaka about this matchup, and um, he told me that he doesn't really like it because it becomes a huge 50-50 whether Mario is going to reflect or hit shield. Uh, it's a little troublesome for Robin, and he has to make these really minute decisions. At a very, sh in, a, in a very, even worse, minute space of time. Yeah, of course. And look at, oh, that was yeah. that was nice persistence. <laughs> fair to fair to fair. Oh, that was cool. Nice. Taking the percent lead, or oh, cuts off Mario, makes it back to stage. Oh, so fire. Charges. Oh, this is looking. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Neutral rolls out of there. That rolls at me. Oh, and this is the reflect we're talking about. This is the answer. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see what it is with Marco. Keeping this space from Mario allows Mario to punish Robin whenever he sends a projectile. Right. So he can't recover. So, so Saka just needs not to send a projectile. Well, easier said than done because. Robin's main source of attack is a projectile. Yeah, Robin's setups are all projectile setups. setups. So e easier said than done. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, what's, oh he runs up smash. Almost taking it. Oh, I thought Saka makes him pay nearly for that. Oh, and there's a checkmate. Oh, all right. nice. I thought Saka taking the first stop. So let's see what he can do with this lead. I mean, technically so. he doesn't have to do anything except wait for four minutes. Ooh. There's that Nosferatu that Tosaka is infamous for. Oh. Always goes for it in neutral. Very, very much so. I, I, I like the tactic. I always get about your percent. Makes it harder for your opponent to kill you. Yeah. You never know. You may come with a bad situation where it favors you. Yeah, any percent counts. Any percent. Every, even the smallest one. Nice. Nargo, oh, now he's feeling a little pressure. He's escaping when there's nothing coming. He's trying to figure out what the, what the edge guard is. Oh, nice. Not gonna take it quite yet. Tosaka playing that very patient game that he should be playing at this point. Mm -hmm. Really, like I mentioned earlier, letting Mario come to him. Mm -hmm. Oh! Ooh. There's Mario. that smash. Even it up one stock apiece. But he's on a 53% deficit. Which is not much for Mario. I mean, one grab and he makes that up. <laughs> it's true. It's true, it's true, it's true. Alright, All right, here's the grab that you're talking about. All right. uh, let's see how much he got. Oh, he only got 40% this time. Oh, oh, that was going for another grab. Nice. Oh, nice, he forgot. Nice for Anto Osaka. The checkmate isn't gonna kill him off just yet. Ooh. Still has to work a little harder. Go on to Osaka. He has Mario under pressure. Letting him know his princess is in another castle. <laughs> and the jab. The jab isn't gonna take it quite yet. And the pressure is really on for Marco. And there's the spike. So Tosaka takes his first game. And that was good. So it's like making it a making it a compelling finals. It's not being taken three go. Go straight back in. Okay, I wonder which stage they're gonna go to. Mm -hmm. Let's see what. Let's oh, see and what. they're taking it back to battlefield. Field. Okay. Ooh. Now I would understand why Narco wants to pick this stage because, like I mentioned, it does really help with the checkmate Ooh. percent. Tell me, look at that. We're seeing that you were talking about. Yeah. Forty percent here now. Just like that. And that was just with two grabs. And the platforms, of course, really help Mario with his combos. You do not want tri plats against Mario. Well, then it's a very good tactic from Narco to go straight for bio fuel. Yeah, for sure. Oh, nice. Misses the grab, dodges away. Oh, turns it around. Oh, oh, no, throws him in the ground. Oh, tries to bait out something. Oh, throws him in the ah. Oh, nice bait. Okay, Narco's really getting the read on Tosaka at this point. Nice dodge. Oh, nice to shoot here. Beats um, the soccer boots. Woo! And Naku right. had a very confident lead right now. Beat I really up. want to see how Tosaka comes back from this. That was crazy. Uh-huh. 
this is. Does nothing. So both players kind of just weaving in and out of each other's space right now. I guess in, I guess in this case of trying to pressure without actually pressuring to be help something that you were looking to turn it tight about. Yeah, it feels more like Tosaka doesn't want to rush things despite the deficit that he's at. Which but, would make sense. Yeah, but Narco himself is at the lead, so he doesn't have to approach necessarily as well. True. Which is the, which is be the conflict in fighters when they have to decide on a strategy. And has a checkmate, so to talk closes off that stock. Very much. As I was saying, it, it becomes a strength in players when they have to decide on a strategy which does not favor the situation, but have to decide that is what they're best suited for. Right. So, and it looks to be working. He seems to have he's taken a stock, not seems to. It may be 95%, but it's not over. Uh, nice. This is smash rage is stupid. Oh, nice. It's 24. Was it? Oh, I thought oh, the, the edge may have messed him up there on that one. Oh, that down beat, that down ear from Mario is just annoying. Nice. 35. Tosaka. Tosaka looking edge. for a stage game. Well, uh, a recovery game at this point. Really needs to close off that stock in order to make it to the game two. That's it. Well, game five, rather. I think it'd be game four. Game four? Yeah. Oh, right, four. right. No, no, this is game four. All right, this is game four. It'll be right. It'll be five. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but you just want the last one. Oh, nice. It's a slow, it's a slow battle. Slow, slow and steady. Let under three minutes left. 135 to 62%. So Saka slowly grinding it out. He seems to be making an impact. Just now. Oh! And that's going to be game. And cool. Beats the table emphatically. And that's what the F he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> a very impressive game from both players. They worked really hard. They played really patiently and they both played really well. Very much so, very much so. The yeah, crowd is really excited right now. Yeah, very much so excited. So Osaka taking out the controls. That is us. Player 2. And I'm Artsu. Uh, you can't follow me on anything because I'm not on anything. <laughs> but that's the stream. That's Smash. I hope you enjoyed what we had tonight. Any closing comments? Let's do it again next year. Yeah, let's, let's definitely do it again next year. Sure. Anime Con, come out, Barbados. When when's it next year? Do we have a, a time schedule yet? It's of usually course. the last week in August. Last week in August. You heard it here. Come on out. Lovely people, lovely venue, lovely cosplayers, lovely event. Very much so. I'm and so salty that we lost, but hey. I want to one Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, we won Street Fighter. <laughs> All right. All right, sir.